So now that our layout is complete, we're simply going to trace, cut, ink, and replace. To cut the borders, you're basically going to take one from this side and this side. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take the A and the B, and we're gonna cut them out of the same paper. So I wanted to quickly show you a balanced look, so how the pattern balances each other. So now that I showed you how simple it is to cut out the borders, we're simply going to cut out our other border, and we're just basically gonna do the same thing. We'll grab them. Now we're gonna cut this other border out of this paper that also comes in your layout kit. And you can choose to do either side if you like. There's also this really nice creamy um, pattern on the back. I personally really love how this one pops with this other design. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace those out of this paper as well. Same thing, we're gonna just simply take one of the designs, line it up on the edge, trace. Take your other one, make a mark and then do a straight cut, and then cut it once up the middle for our two pieces. Now, I personally like these scissors. We have a couple options in our shop. We have Fisker scissors and even a Cutter Bees, but you basically just want a good pair of scissors. I would say probably about a 10 or $15 pair of scissors would do the trick. Um, and you are just gonna start at the end and what I recommend is just kind of keep your cut going. So just stay on the back end of your scissors, like so. And then you just follow that line. Now you can see, of course, I have some imperfections in my cut. I usually do. And that's why inking is so awesome. And then we're going to go ahead and ink those edges. If you prefer to wait till the end to ink all of your edges, that is fine as well. I just wanted to show you really quickly what all those blemishes, they hide all of those blemishes, pencil marks. Again, it's a lot easier to see almost, I feel like, on this pattern. So I wanted to show you that really quickly. And since this part is going to be tucked behind my other border, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about inking that. I'm gonna actually tuck it in quite a bit there. And I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly ink the other one. Just in a downward motion, we'll do the trick. more pencil lines there so I'm just going to go over a little bit more in those areas okay and then that one can just go there for now and then we're going to go ahead and cut out our accessories I'm going to start by um, doing the bottom layer and you're simply going to trace this onto your paper and I think a nice yellow is gonna really make this pop. So we're basically going to just take this piece of pattern that you see here, and we're just going to trace a little bit out of the corner, just place it on your paper, and then simply hold it down with your hand and then trace around it. And once you have this traced out, we're gonna go ahead and then do the same steps. We're gonna cut, ink, and then replace. Okay, so I'm gonna add that to my layout. And then we're gonna go ahead and decide what other colors and patterns work for the other designs. So we have the back of this one still, um, which we could use. We also have this really nice blue pattern, which could be really cute as well. Almost thinking that one. And then we also have some brown that's on the back of the other pattern that we used and also some of this pattern, which is really cute as well. And on the back of the title sheet, we have this more coral um, red look pattern, and then we even have some green at the top. And to help you decide, basically what I do is I just lay it over the top just to get a feel of what this color looks like when it's laid on top of that yellow. Now you could even do another yellow, which will give it a really fun dimension, um, but not too colorful. Personally, I like the lighter feel of this layout, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one um, to cut the other sunflower layer out of. So same step, you just wanna make sure that you are going to the edge of your paper to make the most efficient use of your paper, and then we're gonna trace that out and do the same thing. So go ahead and trace that out. 
If you decided you want a different color of paper for this layer, that is completely fine. Um, I think I was kind of leaning towards doing the yellow because I think the yellow with the yellow with some inking around the edges would give it more of that 3D effect, which could be really fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and detach this once again. It makes it so much more simple if you just remember to detach them from your bigger sheet of paper and then just simply go one way and then the other. Again, staying as close as you can to the pencil but not being too concerned about being exact. Okay. And it actually does get a lot easier the more you do it. Um, I think first off, you start to really try to stay close to that line. And you can see that um, for me, it's pretty easy and fast. So go ahead and take your time, cut those out. And then once you have it cut out, we're gonna go ahead and ink the edges. And then you're going to replace it to kind of get that instant gratification to see how it's coming along. So yeah, I, I feel like I really love that light color there. Um, but again, whatever you prefer, you can play to create how you wish. Okay, so now I'm going to just leave this for a second and I'm going to come over here to this side and decide what colors I want these to be. Personally, one thing I always keep in mind is that what colors did I use over here and how can I pull them over here? So I have the trunk of the tree and then I have a couple layers of the tree as well. Um, I do have the little bit of green that comes on top of those, the title sheet, right? And um, on the back is this really nice pop of color too. Um, Kind of thinking the tree could be really nice in this color okay we also have this blue sheet and then even this lighter it's like a lighter greenish gray which i think might help with the light feel that we're going with on this layout so i'm going to go ahead and cut out you know what i'm going to cut out this leaf and then also one of the layers of the tree out of this green. So I'm gonna do those both at the same time, just so that it gives that nice balance look and I can start seeing how it comes together. So I'm gonna trace that out. And you could trace out the bottom part of this if you want. Um, it is gonna be tucked, so not necessary. And then also I'm going to trace out, I'm gonna do the top layer of this. Okay, so again, those are both cut out of the sheet of paper. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do them at the same time. Detach it, getting as close as you can to the design. Again, make the most use of the paper that you have. And then I will do just one design at a time and then I'll follow that design around. So it only takes a couple seconds, as you can see really great use of your paper just the little scraps that you're going to have left over and let me go ahead and cut this other one out before we ink them and then i'm just going to follow that one right around and i'm just going to not cut that piece out personally because it's going to be tucked and then we'll just ink those edges this color ink actually looks really great with this color palette but you can use um, any color that you like. We do recommend this color personally. We have it in our shop and you can get it from your Kiwiling instructor. Um, but only just because we recommend this one because it goes with lights, brights, darks, any color palette really. And it just simplifies um, the choices in that. All right. I think we're gonna need two leaves here. We'll come back to that here in a minute. And then let me ink this one. Hide any of those blemishes and the pencil marks. And you can see I just kind of do a quick, quick pass. 
right? Okay, and then we'll replace that. And then we gotta decide what to do with these other layers. So I'm gonna lay this behind there so I can see what that looks like with it popping just a little. The yellow, I'm not quite sure I like the yellow. And that's okay, we can just have a touch of yellow here on this layout. Or, what about the blue? You know, it's uh, interesting. A lot of times we tend to want to do trees, like green trees or, you know, things like that. And that's really pretty. You can absolutely do the green um, if you want that pop of green here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and trace out, let's see, I'm kind of thinking I need a touch of blue over here. So before I make that decision, let me go ahead and cut this other circle, the bigger circle out. And this um, is a three and a half inch circle width. So to, again, to make the most use of your paper, you're gonna want to keep your 12 inches intact when possible. So that's why I chose to come over here instead of over here to trace out my design. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace that out. I just kinda wanna see what this blue is gonna look like and pop off of. So let's go ahead and detach that. And cut that out. So that's fun to add a little bit of blue over there. It's a really nice soft blue. I personally love this blue in this kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the bottom base of this tree out of this blue as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one. I do love the lightness, and so that's why I'm choosing these colors. And then we'll ink the edges once again. So go ahead and do that. I just kind of dab it back into the ink pad um, occasionally just to get a little bit more ink on the dauber. Now we also have these daubers in our shop. They're really handy. Um, they actually keep your fingers a little bit cleaner. So I recommend them if you haven't had a chance to get any yet. And then we're gonna go ahead and add this back just to get a feel for what we're looking like here. And we can add some pop-up and things as well. And when we add our pictures, that's really gonna help set the tone as well. Okay, so now we're just down to this base, another leaf, and then um, some extra little touches. So for the base of my tree, I'm gonna actually pull this color over, this pattern over, and I know that I mentioned this a little briefly before, but I really like to have that pattern or that balanced look on my page. I actually don't have any yellow over here yet, but possibly I could cut these leaves out of yellow and have a couple kind of falling down there. But let me go ahead and quickly cut out the base of the tree. Now on this one, you only need the base. So you don't really have to cut out the arrow part um, unless you want to, but because we're gonna be tucking it again, I just need that bottom section of the arrow, right? Okay, and then quickly just follow those lines. And then ink the edges. Okay, I'm also thinking maybe a cute butterfly here, but we can always add those finishing touches once we get to that point. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut a leaf out of the yellow just so we can see what that balance looks like. So let me grab this and we're gonna cut just a little bit out of here just to give us a feel of what that looks like. 